Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video comparing my old straightener with the new me, uh, what is it called? The new me fashionista straightener. I got this on the FabFitFun sale and I do not regret it at all. Uh, it was $29 and I think that it retails new for $130 or something like that. It was like $100 off. Um, and it is an excellent straightener um, and I didn't necessarily need a new straightener I had a straightener and I wasn't sure if um, the old one wasn't working well but I do know that it was a cheaper one I already kind of sectioned my hair I wanted to, um, I want to uh, tame out the curls on top of my hair I often do that with my second day hair I already have a heat protectant styler in it and it's this and I've talked about this on my channel a few times and the more I use it the more I'm kind of learning to use it and I like it more and more um, it a little goes a long way is the issue with this one so when I used it the first few times it felt like it was kind of heavy but it's because I was putting too much in um, and it's turned out that I actually really do like it. So I put that in with wet hair and it dried and I had curly hair today. I have a big meeting tomorrow. I want my hair to look a little nicer. So I am going to do this video while I'm at it. Um, so this is my old Conair Infinity. And this is the new, uh, new me fashionista straightener. And so I can say that when I plugged them in, uh, they both heated up about the same uh, pace. I put my hand on the plate and I had to take my hand away approximately the same amount of time. Um, uh, or amount of time later. Anyway, you know what I mean. And then I will also say that this one's much more clunky. I looked this one up, the Conair Infinity. I can't remember where I got it or how much I paid, but now... Some 20 years later, <laughs> Conair Infinity is uh, selling on Amazon for $29.99. So I thought I paid under 30 bucks. I actually thought I paid like 20 bucks. I don't remember. Um, so this is much more clunky, and this one is very sleek. Um, I actually, there's one feature on this one that I would prefer over this, and it's that this dial has the temperature. Um, and then right there, it has a temperature dial. So that I really like. You actually can see the degrees. Um, actually, I think it might be broken though because it, it, although it's hot, it's not showing what degree it is. But it did used to work. And then on the new me straightener, on the new me straightener, it's just a dial on the inside, right there. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you don't get a digital read. You just have to uh, hope that you're about right, which hasn't bothered me at all. Um, and so now I'm just going to test it out and see how well it goes, if it's any better or if I just bought a new straightener for no reason. Um, so I like to comb out my curl just a little bit beforehand. And then when I straighten my hair, I have a chaser comb. This makes it so so much easier. So I'm just going to do one little piece. I'm going to do less than this. Okay. So that was one pass with my old straightener. So you can see it's still quite um, frizzy. It's straightened out a little bit. I'll do one more pass. I love this comb. Okay, so yeah, you can see it's not it's not working all that well. I already know that it doesn't take two or even three passes with this new me one. So let me show you a little piece with the new me straightener. Okay. So let me uh, isolate those two sections of hair and I'll show you. So I feel like the new me straightener was more efficient at getting my hair straight. That was one pass, like I said. Let me get this piece of hair out of there. So yeah, oh well, I see a big difference. So the one thing I noticed is um, this, the, the old straightener, it felt like it pulled my hair. Like it felt like the plates 
clamped together too closely and it felt like it was yanking on my hair and maybe even pulling one out or one or two out, which I hope not many. This was two passes with a straightener. So you can still see it still looks kind of like frizzy. Okay, and then with the new me, there's a, a couple of millimeters of space between the plates. And so your hair glides through it really easy, easily. And then, and, and it, so it, therefore it doesn't feel like it pulls any hairs out. And then this was one pass. And so I, I definitely think it was very much worth getting the other straightener. Um, just mostly because I think it's a healthier straightener and not, it doesn't pull out my hairs and I don't need to um, run it through as many times. Half as many times worked just as well. So yeah, so thumbs up. I really recommend that straightener. I wish I had done this video earlier because I don't know if it's going to be available on FabFitFun, but if they have any more new me uh, heat styling tools, I definitely will recommend or do recommend the um, fashionista straightener. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.